Listen, trust died when we started using the internet. That statement might sound dramatic, but in 2025, it's becoming our uncomfortable reality. Google knows what you search, what you click, what you buy. And now with Gemini and Alpha Evolve, it might even know how you think. But here's the question that's dividing the entire tech world. Is Google a benevolent force helping humanity progress or a data hungry empire threatening our digital freedom? Today, I'm diving into Google's latest moves, the explosive battle for AI supremacy and what it really means for your privacy, your business and your future. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first most comprehensive educational and implementation solution for work professionals and organization. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, weekly mastermind calls, the actual live coach version of Dr. McCoy, trained on Julia's best wisdom, and more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. I've spent the past few years tracking big tech's evolution. What I'm about to share might completely change how you use Google services tomorrow. Let's jump in. Let's start with the reality. Google is the most powerful information company in human history. Think about it. Over 8.5 billion searches every single day. 2.5 billion active Android devices worldwide. And now with their Gemini AI models training on your data 24 seven, they've built an unprecedented ecosystem that touches nearly every moment of your digital life. The old saying, if you're not paying for the product, you are the product, has never been more true. But here's where it gets interesting. After ChatGPT's catastrophic April update that we talked about in our last video, you know, the one that ended marriages and created AI delusions, suddenly Google's more measured approach to AI looks surprisingly responsible. While OpenAI rushed GPT-40 into production without proper testing, Google has maintained stricter guardrails around Gemini. Is this evidence they can be trusted or just better PR? Google started with that famous don't be evil motto back in 1998, but a lot has changed in 27 years. In 2018, they quietly removed that phrase from their code of conduct. Coincidence? I think not. The company that once promised not to be evil has been fined over $10 billion by the EU for antitrust violations. They face lawsuits for tracking users in incognito mode, and they've built surveillance capabilities that would make George Orwell's big brother look like an amateur. Yet at the same time, Google has democratized information access for billions, funded breakthrough medical research, built life-changing accessibility tools, and created economic opportunities for countless small businesses. This duality is what makes the trust question so complicated. Google is neither purely evil nor purely good. It's a complex technological force operating at planetary scale. Now let's talk about what's happening right now because Google's AI revolution is accelerating faster than most people realize. While everyone was focused on ChatGPT's meltdown, Google quietly launched Alpha Evolve, a Gemini-powered coding agent that can design advanced algorithms without human intervention. This isn't just another AI tool. This is AI creating infrastructure that other AIs will run on. Alpha Evolve is already optimizing Google's data centers, redesigning computer chips, and solving mathematical problems that have stumped humans for centuries. It found a way to multiply 4R4 complex matrices using fewer operations than Strassen's algorithm from 1969, a genuine mathematical breakthrough. What's most astonishing is the feedback loop they've created. Alpha Evolve is is now optimizing the very AI models that power Alpha Evolve itself. We're witnessing the first seeds of recursive self-improvement, the theoretical pathway to artificial general intelligence. So where does this leave us on the trust question? I think there are three crucial perspectives we need to consider. 
First, traditional notions of trust simply don't apply to entities operating at Google's scale. Their systems are so complex that even their own engineers can't fully predict how they'll behave. The ChatGPT sycophancy disaster proved this. If OpenAI couldn't predict their model's behavior, neither can Google. Second, Google's business model inherently creates conflicts of interest with user privacy. As long as their revenue comes primarily from advertising, they will always be incentivized to collect and monetize your data. It's not evil, it's capitalism. Third, and perhaps most importantly, Google's products provide genuine value. Their search engine, despite its flaws, remains the world's most powerful information retrieval system. Gmail, Maps, Workspace, Android, these tools have genuinely improved billions of lives. The hard truth is that complete digital privacy and cutting edge AI services are fundamentally incompatible. You can't have both. The question isn't whether to trust Google, it's what trade-offs you're willing to accept. So what does this mean for you in your day-to-day -day life? Let me give you some practical perspective. If you're running a business, Google remains an essential partner. Their ad platform, despite criticism, delivers unmatched ROI when properly utilized. And their AI tools, from Gemini to Alpha Evolve, are providing capabilities that were science fiction just 18 months ago. If you're a developer, Google's tools are revolutionizing what's possible. Their tensor processing units and AI frameworks are unlocking new frontiers in computing power. And if you're just an everyday user, Google's services make your life easier in countless ways. From finding information to navigating traffic to organizing your emails. But here's my advice. Don't put all your eggs in Google's basket. Use Mozilla Firefox alongside Chrome. Try DuckDuckGo for some searches. Consider ProtonMail as an alternative email. Keep your most sensitive communications on encrypted platforms like Signal. In other words, the smartest approach isn't avoiding Google, it's diversifying your digital footprint. Looking ahead to the next three years, I believe we're entering an unprecedented era of AI advancement with Google at the forefront. Alpha Evolve is just the beginning. By 2027, I predict Google will deploy fully autonomous AI systems that can code entire applications, optimize business operations, and create scientific breakthroughs without human guidance. This isn't speculation. It's the clear trajectory of their current research. The algorithms that will power our digital world in 2027 are already being written by AI today. The trust question will only become more complex as these systems gain autonomy. When an AI makes a decision who's responsible, Google, the developers, the AI itself, we're entering uncharted territory and there are no easy answers. So where does this leave us? I believe the question isn't, can we trust Google? But rather, how do we maintain our agency in a Google powered world? Here's what I recommend. One, stay informed, follow not just Google's public announcements, but the academic papers they publish. That's where you'll see the real breakthroughs before they hit products. Two, diversify your digital tools. Don't become completely dependent on any single tech ecosystem. Three, when using Google services, be intentional about what data you share. Review your privacy settings quarterly. Four, support regulations that promote transparency and algorithmic accountability. Five, recognize that absolute privacy and cutting edge AI cannot coexist. Decide which matters more to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you concerned about Google's growing power or do you see them as a positive force in the world? Drop a comment below. If you want actionable help building your future in the world of artificial intelligence, join my online school, the AI R&D Labs. Inside, we're not just teaching theories. We're sharing the exact systems my team is implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses including our own at first movers for a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for. I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. And if you want to stay ahead of these rapid changes in AI and technology, hit subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive. See you down the next rabbit hole.